Assalamu alaikum and hi, I am Azha. In this video, I will explain about the interaction. Aromatic compounds such as toluene, benzene, and xylene have a wide variety of applications in the petrochemical and chemical industries. Toluene has the lowest market demand compared to benzene and xylene but have the highest production rate. The overproduced toluene will be converted to more valuable benzene and xylene by using this proportionation of toluene reaction. As you can see, this is the chemical reaction of this proportionation of toluene. In this reaction, one of the toluene molecule will transfer its metal group to another toluene molecule to form benzene and xylene. The reaction is carried out in the vapor phase with presence of ZSM5 zeolite solid catalyst at the optimum temperature and pressure. The reaction is not selective and yield benzene and a mixture of xylene as the xylene produced can be ortho, meta or para. This proportionation of toluene is commonly catalyzed by ZSM5 zeolite in industrial practice. Toluene is converted into xylene and benzene. The desired product Parazaline is more favored over octo and metazylines due to the increasing demand in the petrochemical industry. Hence, the advantages of using the SM5 geolite are it's selective in the formations of p-xylene and it shows slower deactivation caused by coke deposition. From the table, it can be observed that catalyst used in Article 1 gives the highest percentage of toluene conversions over the other two. Hence, the best catalyst used for our project is the modified SM5 zeolite using CLD with tetraethyl ethyl silicate which gives 91.1% of p-xylene selectivity and 25.6% of toluene conversion which is considerably high in industry. Besides, the benefits of using CLD is that the liquid reactions can be more easily transferred to industrial preparations in large-scale quantity. The diagram represents SCM image of the modified zeolite. ZSM5 zeolite can be regenerated by burning the deposited cork in the airstream while hydrogen is pushed continuously to the reactor to maintain the acidity of the catalyst. Hi, my name is Masita. We will discuss reaction mechanism of ZSM5 zeolite catalyst which give high selectivity of p xylene at 91.1%. It is a shape selective catalyst that are connected to form petasyl chain. This process follows a single side reaction model involving absorption of xylene molecule on the protonic side of catalyst. By deactivating the external acid side of zeolite, we will get higher p xylene selectivity and inhibit secondary isomerization. To conclude, increasing diffusion resistance will give more deficient superiority for p-xylene. Hello, my name is Liana. The disproportionation of volume is normally carried out in vapor phase with a solid acid catalyst. Several requirements need to be taken in designing the reactor of the process to prevent fast fouling in catalytic activity due to coat formation on catalyst surface. The typical industrial condition include temperature of 350 to 530 degrees Celsius and pressure of 10 to 50 bar. Hydrogen is co-fed with toluene to reduce cracking and catalyst deactivation. The high hydrogen to hydrocarbon ratio is necessary to avoid the catalyst deactivation and cracking. The reactor used is a fixed bed reactor to conduct gas solid reaction in which gas phase are toluene and hydrogen while solid phase is a zeolite ZSM5 catalyst. Reaction temperature is 475 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 30 atm. The reaction is endothermic. The hydrogen to hydrocarbon ratio is 2 mole percentage. The toluene disproportionation reaction is reversible reaction. Therefore, from article, we managed to cite for the kinetic modeling parameters at temperature of 475 degrees Celsius. Designing this reactor takes into consideration of the catalyst used which is ZSM5 zeolite. First, a fixed bed reactor is used due to the long catalyst life of 1.5 years making it able to be used for a longer period before regenerating. Second, a hydrogen stream is used to prevent the catalytic deactivation. Next, to calculate the dimension and weight of catalyst used, Several assumptions are made which are isothermal, no pressure drop, second order reaction, and no volume expansion. 
from the assumptions and basis from articles, a differential equation is derived as shown in the slide. To solve this ODE, we use MATLAB resulting in a weight versus conversion graph. From here, we can see that a weight of 8064 kg of catalyst is needed to achieve 45% conversion. By dividing the catalyst weight with the catalyst bulk density, a reactor volume of 13.44 m3 is obtained. From here, we can determine that the diameter of the reactor to be 2 m while the height to be 4.28 m. As the summary, this proportionation of toluene wind is the reaction that converts the overproduced toluene wind to the more valuable benzene and xylene. It also found that the modified ZSM5 zeolite catalyst using CLD with tetraethyl autosilicate is the best catalyst for this reaction. Reactor used in this reaction is a diabetic single fixed bed reactor. Some basis for the reactor design is made such as the kinetic data, optimum operating condition and also the reactor description. MATLAB software is used to validate the parameter data and also to calculate the reactor sizing of the reaction.